In this video, we will show how to turn your designs into interactive prototypes with just in mind. The most basic interaction you can define is to display a different screen when the user clicks on an element. To do that, just drag the element on top of the screen you want to navigate to on the Screens panel. That will automatically create a navigation event. Keep in mind that some elements are already interactive. If you want to have interactive input forms, just use the different tools and widgets provided, or turn your vector drawings into inputs and hit the play button. Another interaction that is automatically included in some elements is scrolling. To have scroll on an entire screen, just make the content of the screen longer than your device's screen, and it will automatically scroll when you enter in the simulation mode. On top of that, you can define scrolling areas by grouping elements in a dynamic panel, defining the visible area and adding scroll bars in the properties. You can also simulate a whole collection of interactions using just in mind, ranging from simple rollover effects all the way to complex logic and data simulation. All of those interactions are defined in the events panel. To create a custom interaction, click on the plus icon in the Events panel. A dialog will show up to configure the event. First, select the trigger for the event, meaning what is the user going to do with the interface. In this case, let's select On Mouse Over, meaning that something will happen while the user has the cursor on top of the element that was previously selected. Then, select the action you want to execute. There's a whole collection of actions you can choose from. But for this example, we'll select the Change Style action. This action allows us to change some style properties of an element in the screen. Select the element that will change its style properties and the properties you want to change from it. Click OK, and then click Play to see this new event in action. You can add several events to the same element and even concatenate them to create animations. Unlimited prototyping at its finest.